Welcome to Blissful Spaces. I am out in the garden and I am checking on my okra. If you haven't grown okra before, you should try it. It's one of the easiest plants that you can grow. And with all this heat going on, it loves, it will grow perfect. It loves heat and it's low in calories and it's ready to be picked when it's about two to three inches long. So here I am checking, trying to see, should I take this little one? We are gonna get rain for the next four days. Um, let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna check the other ones to see before I pick that one. I don't wanna um, not pick it and then because of the weather, I have an okra that won't be edible. Okay, so this is what happens when you don't check your okra every single day. Yesterday it was like 103 degrees and I didn't go out. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it. And okra is easy. You just kind of like twist it. There you go, and then it snaps off easily. And there's another one. I left it on the vine thinking, oh, two days it should be ready, but yeah. That's how fast okra, okra grows. So you see those little ones on there? Um, tomorrow, they'll be about three inches. So it's always good to go out and check your okra every day. So here I am just picking the rest of my okra. And like I said, we're supposed to get a lot of rain, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, yep, that's good. And what I do with my okra, as I pick them each day, I just uh, wash them really good. And then um, I leave them whole and, and I put them in a freezer bag. So okra, um, you don't have to uh, blanch it and you don't have to cut it up. It's actually better if you just leave it whole. So just uh, put it in the freezer bag and use it as you need it. Boy, I can't wait until the fall, the winter, oh, when it's cold. I love to make a good pot of gumbo with my okra, yes. But in between uh, the season, I do like to eat fried green tomatoes and I'll add my okra. And I also um, scramble my okra with my eggs in the morning for breakfast. So. But right now I'm collecting enough okra Okay, so I'm still picking my okra. Alright, so that was fun. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I am harvesting my okra. I'd love to know, did you plant okra this season? If you haven't already, you still have time to get out there and get that okra. Okra is so delicious. And a tip, um, if you boil your okra in vinegar, it doesn't have that slimy taste. So I know a lot of people don't like the sensation. So that's just a, a little tip. Add a little vinegar to your, to your ingredients or boil it in vinegar and it should take the slime away. So, all right. Well, I just wanted to thank you for taking time out to watch my video. If you're new to my channel, Please, if you enjoyed this one, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little bell below so that you'll be notified on my next video because it's coming soon. And if you've already a subscriber, I really, really appreciate your support. This video is for you. As always, be loving, be kind, and please stay healthy. And don't forget, to check on your loved ones. If you haven't, well, I know with COVID-19, we have been separated from our families and I know that we think about them and we keep them in our prayers. We pick up the phone, call your friends, call your loved ones to check on them, encourage them, and uh, let's, let's be safe and healthy together. Until next time, blessings.